Now we're dealing with the heat, so mm -hmm. it's a scorcher out there. Make sure you're drinking plenty of water, staying hydrated. We're seeing a mix of sun and clouds from our Key West camera, which is shaking a bit. We do have more of a, an ocean breeze, and that's what's helping to steer some of the storms now along the western suburbs or well to our north. So as we zoom in, Broward County looking good, except for a few lingering showers here in Weston and west of Sunrise, also west of Pembroke Pines, and down through the hammocks. We just had storms, but now well across the interior sections and Marathon could see a shower that breeze out of the southeast 6 10 miles an hour temperatures in the upper 80s in Broward and Dade County 90 in Key West when you factor in the high humidity though it feels like 100 in Oakland Park it feels close to the triple digits everywhere else as we look at the models again keeping most of the storms out across the interior sections or the west coast of the peninsula and going back to the storm system that's still bringing rain to parts of the northeast yesterday we had two Two, three, four hour delays up through LaGuardia and Boston. Right now, we're seeing more than an hour delay there and in LaGuardia about a half an hour. And then as we look on the West Coast, more than an hour delay there over in San Francisco and Seattle about a half an hour. So check ahead with your airlines as many may be traveling the final days here of summer break. Schools already started for some parts of the U.S., but for us, Broward County students heading back tomorrow, we have this uh, swirl, this wet weather that's impacting the central U.S. as well as Texas, Oklahoma into Kansas and also you can see that wet weather that's bringing the relentless rain and the potential for more flooding for the northeast New England areas. For us, we still have a little bit of moisture lingering today and that's the reason we've seen those scattered storms throughout the morning and now into the middle of the day. But as we head into later today, tomorrow and Thursday, drier Saharan dust will be arriving and that means that we'll be dealing with hazier skies here and lower air quality as well. For today, a few storms possible, but most of them really starting to march away from the metro areas. Hot and steamy, 91 degrees for boaters. Wind southeast, 10 to 50 knots, seas 2 to 3. A moderate chop on the bays. And today at the beach, a low risk of recurrence, extreme UV index, so you'll need that sunscreen tonight. Spotty showers can't be ruled out, especially along the coast. Summer muggies, upper 70s. So tomorrow, the morning, looking okay. And we may see a stray shower here or there, but mainly dry into the afternoon. Hazy, hot and humid. Four kids in Broward headed back to school and the rest